was anticipated when we talked on Friday that these numbers would come out and they would post a deficit, but it is a larger deficit than many economists had originally predicted. Uh, imports topping exports by more than seven billion. That we will see a surplus in the coming months, and that will continue to force pressure to revalue the currency, the yuan. How are the markets performing today? Just a brief wrap up for you quickly. Uh, the Nikkei uh, trading up in positive territory. The Australia's ASX 200 also trading up seven tenths of a percent. One of the items fueling the market in Australia today, commodity. Good morning, Francine. You're right. China reporting a trade deficit of more than $7 billion last month. We should point out it's the first time in six years the sale of Thai stocks. One other thing to point out, by the end of June, lenders must report their risk exposure to borrowers. China's banking regulators calling for the information to help prevent more bad loans during that country's credit boom. From Asia, back to you in London, Francine. Melissa, thank you so much. for. Good morning, Andrew. For the first time we've seen in six years, China is posting a trade deficit. Now, it was anticipated that China would post this, but not this large of a deficit. Imports topping exports by more than $7 billion. China posting a deficit, and for the first time since 2004, an emerging consumer class with an appetite for overseas goods and export demand simply remaining weak. The timing, also pretty interesting, while China is recording that deficit. Weekend of deadly protests that killed more than 21 people in Bangkok, injuring more than 800 as well. And then going into trading today, it was expected that foreign investors would continue with the sale of Thai stocks. What about the markets in Australia? The ASX 200 up seven tenths of a percent. One stock there having a particularly strong day and continuing to be so on this trend. That's MacArthur, up today at least 10 percent at one point. Settling for the exporter of pulverized coal, which is used by steelmakers. Now, with coal prices doubling in the last year, China's imports tripling. MacArthur is certainly attracted to some companies. MacArthur shareholders were actually supposed to meet today, but that meeting has now been pushed back a week. They certainly have a lot to digest with this bidding war that's going on with MacArthur. Andrea?